Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to configure VPN side to side on the my particular router that we use the IP server. Okay, and then I'm go to the GNS3. I'm going to show you how to configure VPN side to side between the XU router to the multiplayer. Okay, in this video I'm focus on the XU router to the multiplayer. Okay, configure VPN side to side using the IP server. Okay, this is a step that we have to follow and that we have to uh, configure all the all router or on the XU router and through the multi brand. Okay, and then I'm go to the uh, window XP client board. I'm go to connect to the multi router XU and with the follow up step. Okay, and then I'm go to the window client XP one. Okay, I'm um, open the wind box. Okay, and then I'm gonna to the multi router. Okay, this is a multi router at the XU. So I'm changing the identity for easy to uh, to to know about the name of the multi router. Okay, for this multi router, I'm set the name. Okay, this, this router for the XQ. Okay, and then I'm go to the interface and set the interface name. And then assign IP to the interface name. Okay, I'm set the Ethernet true for the LAN interface. Okay, for the Ethernet one, I'm set the LAN. Okay, and then I'm going to the IP address, add the IP address to the interface, IP, IP address. Okay, okay and then I'm at the IP address. Okay, for the IP address, we follow our diagram. This is the IP address. Okay, this is the network for the internal or LAN. Okay, this is the network for the WAN. Okay, and then I'm going to window SP client board and set the IP for the input LAN slash 24. Okay. Okay, and then add the IP address for the WAN interface. Okay. Okay, this is the IP address for the WAN interface. Okay, and then we go to the configure for the step 2 and the step 3, the same time. Okay, and the body ACP server and, and the body and Okay, and go to the IP, the ACP server. Okay, click on the ACP setup. Okay, select the LAN interface. Okay, for this one, I'm set the time. Okay, for sign IP to the client, the end of the 10 uh, to the 11 because we have only the to the PC, so we need to the uh, IP address. Okay, set the DNS server for the Google. It's already okay. Then we go to the IP at the uh, DNS server. For the DNS server, you can add the DNS server from the ISP or DNS server from the Google. The same. Okay. Okay. So we add already for the interface name, IP address, the ACP server, and DNS. So I'm release IP for the client. Okay, and then renew. Okay, for the uh, window client SP1, we have, uh, got the IP uh, 172.16.1.11. Okay, so I'm set the IP on this one. Okay, this is the IP that we got from the 
the HTTP server might take out the issue to the window HTTP client number one. Okay, and then we go to the our step, continue to the our step, configure rip. Okay, dynamic routing protocol, we use the rip. Okay, and then I go to the window client HTTP one. Okay, connect to the wind mount again. Okay, and then I'm go to the red routing and we okay for the interface. I'm at the interface, select all the interface and basic on choose the version 2. Okay, and add the network. Okay, so we add the network to the network okay this network for the land this network for the land okay two network okay this one for the land of oh, this one for the van yeah. and this one for the the land network okay okay so already we to configure on the actual router for the step one to the step four okay and then we go to the step okay so we we go to the our brand for configure the same step one to the step four the same okay okay and then i'm go to the uh, router at brand two okay at the brand two I'm go to the window HP client 2 and connect to the uh, brand 2. Okay, I'm um, window HP client 2. Okay, this is window HP client 2. Okay, I'm connect to the win box. Okay, connect to the win box by the web address. Okay, okay, for the this one. Okay, I'm change the system identity for easy to note. My computer okay, is brand two. Okay, and then this one I'm changing to the land. Okay, for this one I'm changing to the brand. Okay, and then I'm add the IP address to the interface land and brand. Okay, for the interface. Uh, Okay, this is a interval land. Okay, this is a network for the interval band. Okay. Okay, this one. This one. Okay, and this one. This one. Okay. One. Okay, and then I'm go to the window HP plan 2. Look like HP 2. Okay, and then I'm at the, the IP address to the interface plan and interface plan. Okay. for the interval land okay, so I can just do in to the okay, it's working okay and then for the add IP address already and then I'm go to the uh, the HP server okay for the interval line ten. ten to ten call we have only the one the PC okay, the server 
is already is at the DNS 